Thank you for tuning into Iron Point Tech. Today, I'm going to show you a beginner's tutorial on Streamlabs OBS on how to set it up for streaming or recording. So let's jump right in. First, you're going to want to go to streamlabs.com and download the Streamlabs software for the operating system that you're using. Once you open up Streamlabs, it'll often prompt you to link to an account, either through Twitch, YouTube, link to a streaming service that you're going to be using. And then once you're logged in, it'll bring you to this canvas area. Now you'll, you won't have any scenes here or any sources. And so this is where we're going to add in scenes and add in sources so that you can easily stream or record your desktop or different games that you play. So for scenes, you're going to want to create a new scene. We're just going to keep this as new scene here, create a new scene. And then we're going to want to add sources that can be captured on your desktop. So you click this plus button under sources and you have all of these different options. You can add in images, you can add in your display, you can add in game captures, audio, video. So we're gonna to wanna to add in display capture. Click add source. I keep it labeled as display capture. And then it gives you an option of what displays to select. I'm gonna use my first display and click done. So you can see here, now it's capturing my display. For games, you can add in game capture which will just capture a full screen window, uh, whatever game that you're gonna be playing at the time. I'll keep my display capture as my source and then you can add in multiple other options here. So I'm gonna add in an audio input capture because I'm using a microphone and I want it to capture my own voice, not just the game audio. So audio input capture, adding in the source, you can label it as defaults, whatever you're currently using for your operating system. Uh, I can either, or I can specifically specify what microphone I'm using. So I'm gonna click this USB mic, and you can see the moment I added that in there, this USB mic started showing up in my mixer section. So you can see my audio is being captured and my display is being captured. If you have a webcam or a camera that you're using, you can add that video capture device right here. I'm currently using this webcam for this recording, so it can't show up in this, but that's where you can go ahead and add your webcam or other capture device. And then those are the sources that you have enabled here. And in this mixer section, you can decrease or increase the volume of your desktop audio or your microphone. Just, I recommend testing these just so you have the optimal sound settings for your recordings, whether you're streaming or recording from your desktop. And then once those are set up, go to your settings. Uh, and this is where we're going to make a couple modifications here. So in stream, obviously you can connect whatever streaming service you're using. And then for output, I recommend just starting off with simple mode with this being just the beginning first steps, keeping it in simple. Don't worry about advanced for now. And under streaming, you're going to want to make sure this is specified based on your upload speed for your internet. So I recommend running a speed test and seeing what your upload speed is. If you're running, you know, 50 megabytes upload speed, you're gonna be just fine running at a high bit rate. If you have a lower speed, you're gonna to wanna to lower this bit rate. I'm just gonna keep this at 6,000. If you have a lower speed, some people recommend if you're running like eight megabytes upload, you cut that in half to, you know, 4,000 bit rate, whatever half is of the megabyte speed you're running. And then for this encoder, I recommend NVENC new. This is the new updated, uh, NVENC, which is pulling from your GPU. This is pulling from your CPU, but we want the load on the GPU for specifically streaming or recording through Streamlabs. Uh, I don't change the audio bitrate. And then for recording, you're gonna to wanna to set a recording path where your video is going to be recorded to if you're gonna be using it for recording. And then for recording quality, uh, I recommend indistinguishable quality, a large file size. You can do medium file size. This is obviously just gonna be higher quality if you're recording. And then for recording format, you can change, I think the default is FLV or MKV. I just recommend MP4 is the most accepted file file format for recordings. And then encoder, uh, as before, we're gonna keep it on NVENC new. And then those are all the settings you need for output. For audio, it's just making sure that your desktop audio device is set to default. Uh, keep it at default, you really can just check your audio input sources here. That's really where you're gonna do most of your settings. And then for video, your resolution is just gonna be whatever the resolution is of your monitor. Most likely will be 1920 by 1080. Uh, same thing for output resolution. This can be modified based on the quality of your stream. If you're running into some quality issues, I recommend bumping that down. 
Some people bump it down to 1280 by 720 just to have a good quality stream. Uh, 1920 by 1080, you know, or 2560 uh, by 1440. And for downscale filtering, I recommend going to sharpen scaling 32 samples. And then for the FPS values, I recommend running it at 60, 59.94, or 30 uh, for those if you want to lower the FPS if your system can't handle uh, or doesn't have the, op the capabilities of running at 60 frames per second. And then hotkeys are here if you want to set up hotkeys. In these advanced settings, I don't change anything in here, especially if you're just beginning using Streamlabs. Uh, I don't recommend making any changes here. For scene collections, these are for overlay designers that are able to export or import their different overlays. And then for appearance, you can change from night to day. Uh, as you can see, I'm a fan of the night. Uh, it's all about dark mode. Uh, and then scene item selection mode, I just keep it selected as double click selects group, uh, single click selects item. And then those are all the main settings that we're gonna be going over today. In this top section here, you have a lot of different options. You go check out the alert box library. You can check out different themes where there are already custom themes that people have made, animated themes. You can see here as an example, I have some downloaded already, which show you different scene options that are already custom created. So you have starting soon, animations, be right back, intermission, uh, social media and backgrounds, which I can just navigate between different scenes if I'm gonna be out for a bit, if I'm gonna be making transitions through my stream. There's a lot of good themes already pre-built out there that you can go ahead and download and use for your streams. So those are all the settings that I recommend for Streamlabs OBS. I hope you enjoyed this beginner's tutorial. I will be going into more advanced settings uh, in other videos. Please go check those out. And don't forget to like and subscribe.